Taking a look today at lubricating the VW speedometer. I had this speedometer in the car for a while and it started to get noisy. I got a different one at the junkyard and put this in storage. Then the one in the car that I got from the junkyard after more than 50,000 miles in a single day just got tremendously noisy. I couldn't stand it. And I took it out and I lubricated it the same way I'll show you how in this video. And again, this is the one from the uh, storage now, and you'll have to take my word for it. Uh, from sitting, it's become completely seized. I couldn't turn the, the drive inside at all with the screwdriver. I've removed the gas gauge along with the power stabilizer, only to open up this space in the back. If any tri flow uh, leaks out of the gears. I want to keep it away from the odometer wheels and the dial. So it'll have this big opening to spill out of if there's excess. So what I've done, electrically taped a soda straw to the speedometer cable input here. And I'll prop this up against, uh, this happens to be a clock radio to hold this uh, position and I'll fill the straw with uh, tri-flow and this worked like gangbusters on the speedometer I'm using in the car I just keep the straw full and uh, let it soak in as you'll notice the speedometer cable comes in at quite an angle. I presume there's some kind of a gear drive inside to straighten that out which apparently is uh, lost lubrication and become noisy and in this case completely seized up in uh, storage. But the one that's in the car now I could very much feel it was difficult to turn before and then after this process became much easier to turn and is in the car now and is uh, behaving quietly. I might have noticed in the car some tri-flow coming from these three bulb openings but none has uh, invaded the the face of the dial. Uh, knock on wood there. So that uh, again it worked for me the combination of soda straw, electric tape, and tri-flow. Thanks and be sure and watch my other videos.